Okay, so a lot of students have had questions about how to make a good um, cluster bar graph and stacked bar graph, and this is sort of a source of confusion. So I'm going to walk you through making a really basic cluster and stacked bar graph. So the trick is in the percentaging. So say I want to do just a basic cluster bar graph. First thing I want to think about is what my independent and dependent variable are. So it, in this case, I'm going to look at subjective class identification and um, how people feel about the death penalty. So I put my independent variable on the x-axis. This is usually the best bet. Sometimes we don't do that. Sometimes we do it a different way. But when all else fails, do it this way. And then I want to put my dependent variable up here in the right-hand corner. If you notice, the default is that it will, will use the count or the total number of people who answered the question. And that's not really what we want. So if we go over to the properties box, we can change that. We can tell SPSS that we want to use the percentage instead. So if I just apply it from here, it will automatically do the percentage out of the total. So instead of telling me what percent of all people who identify as working class also favor the death penalty, Instead, it will tell me what percentage of all people are both working class and favor the death penalty. And that's not usually what we want. So we're going to change the parameters here. So we're going to tell it instead of using the grand total, we should use the total for each x-axis category because our independent variable is on the x-axis. If we put our independent variable up in the right-hand corner, we would use the legend variable category. So you really have to think when you're doing this, which of these is my independent variable? and which is not. So if I click apply, it should spit out a chart that um, is done this correctly. Make this a little bit smaller so I can actually do that. And here we are, right? So we can tell if we've done it right, if for under people who are upper class, these two bars should add up to 100%. Right, so it should be very clear. This is how I can figure out um, when you haven't percentaged right, is that these bars don't add up to 100%. So let's do that again with a stacked bar graph, which is very similar. In fact, we can keep a lot of the same structure here. So if you notice, I just changed this from a cluster to a stacked bar graph. I still want my independent variable on the x-axis. I want my dependent variable up here in the stacked section. But it reverted to count over here, which is not what I want. It'll end up with kind of a funky looking stacked bar graph. So instead, I'm going to go over and I'm going to tell SPSS that I want um, the percentage instead. And I want it off of everything on my x-axis category. And this is what you should always do for a stacked bar graph. You should always put your independent variable on the x-axis, and you should always total for each x-axis category. That's what makes it look like your standard stacked bar graph, so it should go up to 100%. So we're going to apply that, we'll click OK, and it'll spit it back out in SPSS. And we can really see here um, all of the bars go up to 100%. Right, so 100% of everyone who's upper class, this shows us what percent of them favor the death penalty and which percent of them oppose it. And we can see a real trend here. This is a real advantage of a stacked bar graph. The end.